Hey guys, how are you guys doing? It's Tammy Davis. Um, one of the things I just realized I neglected to say in my last video, so please forgive me. I was so much about breath and oils that one of the things that occurred to me in the middle of the night a few nights ago was um, the rise in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Now, I know that I talked about alpha pinene and oils and those health conditions and dementia. But the fact is, is that I don't know. I, it just was something that actually just came to me. It's like we're seeing an increase in these health conditions. But how frequently we are not breathing. And I know that sounds really strange, but we're, we're taking such shallow breaths. Um, I'm not saying that that's the only reason we're developing Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. That's not, you know, there's a lot more to it than that. I'm not trying to oversimplify anything here at this point. Um, it is totally brain chemistry. And what I can tell you straight up is that the way we breathe, you know, as I mentioned in the last video, breath is communication to the body. It's the way we tell the body. It's one of the first steps to tell the body we're okay. The next step is our thought. Okay. Beyond that becomes essential oils. And you may poo-poo essential oils. Well, I challenge you to talk to me. Because the fact is, is that essential oils, as I was just talking with one of my clients, they through their sesquiterpene panels are able to cross the blood brain barrier. So the ability to influence brain function is extraordinary. But again, how they also influence CYP450 enzyme activity is imperative to know. This is why I'm doing my Zoom talks. So you have three steps to brain health. That is the way we breathe. The deeper your breath, the more you exhale, the more you tell your body you're okay. The next step is this. Reminding your body that, hey, look, I'm not in danger right now. Yeah, that shit may be happening, or it may happen. I'm guessing it might happen, but it's not happening right now. So, thought. And the third step is your essential oils. Why? Because they are signaling molecules. They are chemicals that act, they're, they're, they're endocrine disruptors. Like I mentioned in one of my other videos, they're endocrine disruptors, which means they, it's not necessarily that they're doing anything bad, but they have the ability to influence endocrine or hormonal function. That's significant when it comes to overall health. We know this. And if anybody wants to challenge me on that, bring it. That's all I'm going to say. Just bring it. Because the fact is, is that this is real. And it's time to begin to work with oils at that level. It's time to begin to work with our breath at that level. It's time to begin to work with our thoughts at that level. But as I mentioned, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, that's the reason I actually started this, is, is, is growing. And our lack of breath, okay, the fact that we're constantly like short, I don't know how to say this, like shallow breathing. What is shallow breathing actually contributed to our level of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's? Again, it's not 100% the reason why, but what if it's actually contributing? Because here's why. We're not fully utilizing acetylcholine. Acetylcholine has many functions in the body as many as as other neurotransmitters do. So, but acetylcholine is known well it influences autonomic nervous activity. I, I I get excited. So, it, it influences autonomic nervous activity. It also is responsible for digestion, respiration, 
but being able to fully utilize it, that's the reason why I did that last video. So what if our shallow breathing actually contributed to the development of, uh, of Alzheimer's based on our own individual genome? I mean, it's a concern of mine. I mean, truthfully, I have 17 people in my family that have all been diagnosed with it, you know. I don't think anybody currently, but you, you get what I'm saying, right? Grandmothers, my grandmother, my her, her um, siblings, and so forth. My mother was diagnosed with early, you know, onset. So, and that was in her 60s. So the point is, is that this shallow breathing, and the shallow breathing is truthfully something many of us are unaware of. That's the reason why just the fact that you want to stop and smell an essential oil and slow down that breath for just a moment is a huge step. And beginning to do that every single day and then using the oils with the alpha pine in it based on your medications and your epigenome, which I can help you with. So there you go. Um, I'm going to leave it there. But that's the whole point of this is that these are huge issues. And again, the way we breathe is not the only contributor to any of these health conditions, you know, movement disorders, which is, you know, Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, which is, you know, um, memory, as you know. It's not the only factor, but it is a big factor. And what if we can learn to shift that? I know, I know it's simple. I know it's simple. Simple doesn't mean it's wrong. Just saying. Anyway, back to later.